A couple days ago, Gooseworks unexpectedly released some new teasers for the third episode of Amazing Digital Circus. It's pretty rare for us to see Zubel in new teasers, but in one of the newest screenshots we got to see her actual design in Episode 3. In the next episode, we'll be shown exactly how Zubel changes her body parts and her room. There's a possibility that Zubel will argue with Kane and get one of her new designs as punishment. And by the way, somewhere in the video, I hit a picture of Gangle, and anyone who finds it will get another interesting theory about Zubel in the comments. And I'd like to start with the details of the new teaser. I can say with certainty that this is indeed a shot from the third episode, because we haven't seen a pink unicorn horn on Zubel's head in any episode or teaser before. The action in this screenshot takes place in a room with peach wallpaper, a lamp, a painting, and a red couch. We can infer that Zubel and Kane are arguing about something, and I have a few theories about what's really going on in this teaser. First of all, let's try to figure out where Zubel and Kane are. We haven't seen this particular interior of the circus tent before. We know that Episode 3 will focus on Zubel and Kinger, so it would make sense to show those two characters' rooms in Episode 3. I immediately thought of Kane and Zubel being in Zubel's room, but that option is most likely not true. We have yet to be shown Zubel's room in the episodes, however we know what it looks like thanks to the official Zubel pin. Zubel's room is just out of place with a monotonous peach wall, a flower, a lamp, and a painting. However, Zubel's room isn't depicted entirely in the pin, so I'm not dismissing this option completely. My second option was based on the theory that the haunted house represents some sort of scary attraction. In that case, the place is like a sort of lobby, a waiting room. The characters enter the attraction through it and exit there at the end of the adventure. Then it's likely that Kane and Zubel are looking at each other so unhappily because Kane is persuading Zubel to move on and help her friends. We know from previous episodes that Zubel absolutely always refuses to participate in the adventure. It seems that Zubel has principles about participating in adventures, or a trauma associated with them. You left a huge number of comments under the previous clip with your theories on what premise Zubel and Kane are in. Viewer Kelvin Morales wrote that Zubel and Kane could be in the therapy room, and this shot shows Kane trying to find out why Zubel doesn't want to participate in the adventure, since Zubel isn't sharing any information about it. It's a very interesting idea, but I'd like to argue with that theory a bit. I believe that Zubel is reluctant to participate in Kane's adventures because of a traumatic experience she had on one of those adventures or from Kane himself. I suspect that the reason for Zubel's indifference to new adventures is known to everyone except Pomni, who has only been in the circus for a short time so far. At least Kane knows exactly what the reason is. That said, I agree that this mysterious room we've never seen before could be a therapy room. In my opinion, in that case, Kane brought Zubel here to get her talking, to dissect and work through her trauma. For then, Zubel would be able to go on adventures again. Several viewers under the nicknames Cody Crazy YT and her Foxy 3000 Dars have suggested that Kane and Zubel are in Kane's room. In my opinion, we have several reasons to assume that each NPC has their own room located somewhere. We've seen that there are dummy rooms next to the main characters' rooms, and the Candy Canyon NPC's rooms may be located inside the castle. It's unclear if Kane even needs a separate room. But Kane is the host of the Digital Circus, and he has no problem creating spaces like the restaurant where he had lunch with Bubble and Pilot. It's possible that he created that room specifically to have a private conversation with Zubel. Although no one guarantees that Kane and Zubel are mad at each other because Zubel doesn't want to go on an adventure. Cody also came up with the theory that Kane doesn't need a regular room like everyone else. Since his room would be special, characters would not be allowed to enter it. Accordingly, Kane could be angry with Zubel precisely because she entered his forbidden room. This theory is supported by the fact that Gooseworks' response in Tumblr when asked about Kane's occupation was, You don't want to know that. I think this theory is very interesting and really worth considering. Kane certainly doesn't want anyone else to know about what he's doing and what he's working on. Perhaps Pomni and Kane's Kinger saw one of Kane's jobs in another teaser. I want to say thank you to everyone who left many interesting comments under the previous clip. I have another theory about what exactly is going on in the new teaser. I realize that probably Gooseworks has probably already written the gist of this dialogue to us in Tumblr. Quite a while ago, Gooseworks in Tumblr was asked to write random phrases from new episodes without context. Gooseworks wrote these two phrases. Zubel, look at this cool B picture I drew. Huffing paint and not waiting for a designated break? We can understand that it's a drawing that Kane did. My theory is that in the first sentence, Kane addresses Zubel and offers to look at and evaluate his new painting. 
after which Zubel criticizes it in response. We've theorized before that Kane and Zubel are arguing about something serious. But what if it's really just about Kane's drawing and Gooseworks has once again shown us a piece of an ordinary scene as something important to the plot? However, I've also found arguments that this is a letdown to the unusual final episode. Do you remember? I said we hadn't seen that horn on Zubel before? We didn't see the horn on Zubel, but we did see the horn on Pomni. What's interesting is that Zubel only likes to change her parts on her head, but in the pilot we clearly saw that her entire body could be taken apart. When Gooseworks was asked about Zubel's box of parts, she said that the box has no end. I think this could all show up in new episodes. My theory is that instead of exploring the adventure, Zubel, Kinger, and Pomni will explore the locations and find the rooms where Kane was doing work that no one is allowed to enter. When Pomni and Kinger enter one of these rooms, they will see the same hand from the teaser, or even a full desiccated human body. Kane will catch Zubel in another such room. They will start arguing precisely because Zubel will see what Kane is doing. Kane will be very angry at Zubel for walking in on him without permission. In response, Kane will punish Zubel. I think as punishment, Kane will completely reassemble Zubel's body against her wishes. And Zubel will be forced to walk around with those parts for the next episode. Thus, we get that unique Zubel design in episode 4 that Gooseworks thinks is her favorite. At the same time, Kane will take the horn from Zubel's head and glue it to Pomni's head. After all, Pomni and Kinger probably saw something they weren't supposed to, too. So in episode 4, Pomni will appear with a unicorn horn. I also want to briefly discuss with you the opinion that Murder Drones is being shut down in order to work on the amazing digital circus. We even had a viewer post in the comments about Glitch shutting down their project that is Murder Drones to focus on working on the amazing digital circus. On Tumblr, Gooseworks herself decided to comment on this opinion and revealed that in Glitch's studio, the creators are given the opportunity to decide how long their project will last and when it will end. According to Gooseworks, Murder Drones is ending not because of work on the digital circus, but because Liam felt he had finished the show's story. What do you think about that? What room are Zubel and Kane in anyway? Did they argue because Zubel found something she shouldn't have? Or is it all about Kane's simple drawing? Write your theories in the comments, and I'll be sure to read them. The best comments will make it into the next videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give it a like. Good luck, everyone, and bye-bye.